Well, the high school seasons are now over, but when it comes to lacrosse, things are just getting started for Maine's newest professional team in the first game is this weekend. Yeah, box lacrosse. Chris Costas here to tell us more about it. This looks really cool, Chris. Lee and Lindsay, it's really intense, and lac lacrosse, as we know, is one of the fastest growing sports in the country. Now, while that growth has flattened out in recent years, a new professional team in Maine is promoting the game, but it's a version you may not have heard of before. Fight through. The fastest game on two feet is trading in turf for concrete, cleats for sneakers. Check, check, check. There's legitimately two versions of this game. They have no idea that we play in a hockey rink. But there's no ice, no skates. They have no idea that we have small goals and big goalies. But gloves, helmets, and big hits? Fight that! Fight that! Check. Hey, are you a hockey fan? Are you a football fan? Are you a basketball fan? Do you like fast-paced play? You know, you will love box lacrosse. Box lacrosse is nothing new. It's Canada's national summer sport. Now it's in our state for the first time. Leading the way are the Maine Northmen. Kyle Baker is a righty forward. He's also the team's owner and general manager. It's been a dream of mine to bring box lacrosse to my local community for years. So the Kennebunk native handpicked and recruited the players. 20 of the 38 are originally from Maine. Some have never played box lacrosse before. Others, like Mark White, have played at the highest level. Short story is my parents couldn't afford to put me in hockey, you know, so when I was uh, three years old, uh, my parents didn't know what to do with me, so they put me in box lacrosse, and, uh, you know, fast forward to today, I think it was worth it. White hails from Ontario and suited up for the Toronto Rock in the National Lacrosse League in 2014. <laughs> I get chills, it's loud, you know, for that split second, you kind of take it all in, and then, you know, once that first whistle goes, it's, it's game time and you kind of zone all that stuff out. That's the atmosphere the Northmen are hoping for on Sunday night inside the Biddeford Ice Arena when they host their first home game. But I think we're getting to the point now where we're ready to play somebody else. It's also a chance to expose Maine's young players to a style of the game that these guys say made them play even better. When they have that box skill set, you know, foundation, they're already a high level field player. That's because the goals are smaller, the goalies pads are bigger, and the pace of play is faster. And my biggest passion is growing the game of lacrosse in both versions, but specifically now this opportunity bringing the better, <laughs> my favorite version to Southern Maine. Because once you see it, you'll be hooked. So the Northmen play their first home game Sunday night at 6 o'clock at the Bitterford Ice Arena. If you head to this story on our website or mobile app, you can find the link to buy tickets to the game. It's cheaper than $10 per person, even cheaper for kids. And Lee and Lindsay in hockey, they have the ceremonial puck drop, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Senator Angus King is going to place the ball for the ceremonial face-off on Sunday night. So oh, cool. And then get the heck out of the way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's intense in there. I mean, they're flying around. It's really, really fast. And the pads and very on the goaltenders are huge. I know. Enormous. I, I don't know how these guys are able to score because the goal is only four feet by four <laughs> right. six. And those guys take up so much That's room. That's exactly crazy. what yeah. I was thinking. But yeah. I love any way to grow the game. Yes. I mean, this yeah. is really cool. Really interesting. And Thank it's cool you. for parents, too, because the kids have been really learning this as they develop their field game, too. So yeah. uh, it, it can be a year-round sport. Awesome. Awesome. awesome.